Okay. It's so weird. It's not there. I, I don't know. Um, wait a minute. Let me look at something. Is it? Oh, here it is. I see. Here, wait, wait. I think I found you. Hold on. I, okay, I've got, I've got your. Um, do you want the room open or just no? No, I just wanted to show you the chart on Netflix, but it's not allowing me to share a screen for some reason. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, who knows what that's about? Anyway, because just tell me, just tell me here today because you've been having. This is a great call. Um, but did you, did you have trouble managing this today? No, because um, I, I've kind of just been taking in some of the things you've said in the room about managing trades. I mean, it's not like I don't know how. I don't know why we as trading people do that where we get, get all off kilter sometimes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's hard when you get off balance with stuff, when you mismanage a trade and then you go, oh, no, I'm mismanaging everything. Does that make sense? That's kind of what I did, really, in a sense. And so, back on track is what I have to say. Just, yeah, I mean, I definitely think, it, you know, because you held these, you were you were good. Again, I can't show you the chart here, but I just, I mean, we were talking in the room. When it blew over that first target, 510, then you stayed with it. Right. And then, Never what did let you up. Go, go ahead. I mean, I stayed, yeah, I stayed until, well, 2 o'clock, so about 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Okay, that so. was good. Yeah, that was great. It was great. Um, all right, then what did you do with the SPY? Then last time I talked to you, you were still in it. Then you said you got out of everything. I'm out. I'm out of everything. I'm the SPY. I, I can look real quick. I really don't have this broken down individually. I walked around uh, with uh, about, about $2,800 profit on the SPY. Okay. Um, and the cues, I walked away with fifteen hundred. Um, what about Microsoft? What? What about Microsoft? Microsoft, I don't know what. Maybe I got a bad entry on that because I was late with some stuff this morning. I only walked away with three hundred dollars on that, and I spent seventeen hundred dollars on calls. I think. Well, at least you got that with profit, because look how this yeah. is dropping off now. Yeah, I mean, I, it's. I, when I call a lot of trades like that, you got to, I mean, it kind of, kind of prioritize them. And I definitely think today Netflix was the priority to get. Yeah, that's, I've put that one in. As soon as I saw that, it went right in. And Amazon, I walked away with a um, little over 3,000. So. Yeah, that was um, good. That was good. Yeah. Which, it was a majorly good considering how much I was down. Google, I walked away with 2,000. Okay. Um, Netflix again. I made um, thirty, thirty-three hundred, thirty. Oh gosh, no, thirty-seven hundred. And um, in the total of the three that I called. Yeah. I, well, in the total of the three that you called. Okay, here we go again. Um, Fifteen, seventeen. I'm gonna say the three that you called. I think I added it up earlier, and I walked away with about. 12,000, 15,000. That's fabulous. 000. That's great. Yeah, great really, I need to redo my total because there were some other things in there I need to look at. I think I may not have added in actually now that I'm looking at my stock. So did you, so, are you keeping your risk consistent here? Because I know some of these cost a little bit more. So what did you do with your risk? Like, cause, cause again, you didn't risk the same in every trade in Netflix that you risked then in that Amazon, or you would have made like a hundred grand today. Like, I don't like, what, what are you doing about your risk? That's the only well, thing. Like you did great. You really did, but go ahead. I, I regret that I, I mean, I, you know, I wanted to push the pedal and like I do and, uh, you know, make a much bigger trade in Netflix, everything actually today. But I remembered I made a deal with you a while back until I got back, things back to a certain place. My trades wouldn't be over 2000. Now, okay. I also told you though I have the exception rule. That I do get to buy at least one if you call Tesla okay. or Amazon or Google. That's the only time I break my rule, but I don't break the rule and make every other trade, say, a six, eight, ten thousand dollar $10,000 call. Okay? Okay. Very good. I did see Tesla this morning. I thought about calling it and doing it. I did not. I don't have any regrets here. I think we played and played and played this. I thought about it because I knew what the market was going to do today. I don't know if you looked at that at all today. And I didn't look at what these cost, but they probably were a million dollars because I definitely wouldn't have done them. They were really expensive. 
They were like 10,000 bucks going out to next week. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why? And then, interestingly enough, I also did not call Apple, and it didn't go anywhere. So that was a good read, too. I didn't call this. And I don't know what this cost and what it would have worked out as a trade, because it did drop down, have a run-up, but I don't. this would have been a bust. So. Mm -hmm. it, it, I think it's kind of really, I think it's going to, I think Tesla and Apple, I'd be afraid to stay in them overnight because of Friday, I think. I don't know what they're going to do tomorrow. Yeah. Because, you know, the splits are on Friday. The what is on Friday? On Friday. Their stock splits are on Friday for Apple and Tesla. Well, they're, I think they're everybody both should be out of anything by today with the rally we had anyways because of the fact that the unemployment numbers are out tomorrow. And again, nobody knows what they're going to say. So, I mean, again, we've been rallying every day on bad numbers yeah. or every week. But, I mean, I, that's eventually that's going to catch up is my two cents. Fed, the Fed in, in uh, Jackson Hole, and he's going to be talking about starting to – raise interest rates supposedly so we'll see uh, all right, all right. So thank anyways, you for everything great trades thank you so you did great today i will say the one thing today the days like today are easy in the sense that when everything goes right away immediately it's 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 a great day and when you get the market with you power trending with the trades i call it's it, it's great whether they're up or down whether they're up or down, it's always it's always fantastic. I wish every single time it was like that, but it but it isn't. But I think you did do the right thing because you never killed the Amazon because I knew that was going to go, and you could have got out of it right away. But I really never went enough. I thought so. I'm glad you held it. Yeah, thank you again for everything, and thanks for being holding your conviction because it made me hold mine. Yeah, and the one thing here, this guy is dead. This target, so I don't know what this story is. Are you in that or not? I'm still in Target, yes. I'm still in Target and Boeing because they're down. But I'm like, hey, I don't know what to say about Boeing the next two great, days. Boeing looks great, though. The chart looks good. It's like, yeah. I, I don't know, you know what I mean? Sometimes the chart looks I mean, good, you know, and you got to give it a chance. So we'll see what happens tomorrow in the well, numbers. I'm telling you, they're going to talk about airline tomorrow, too, I think. They're going to talk about something's going to affect Boeing tomorrow. It's just been too strange this week. And I didn't call anything in the diamonds, which I didn't even look at. What did that do? I mean, I they're much up, everything only today. up 27 cents right now because they they've just kind of been low, you know, because I think apples, they're a big apple, right? The diamonds. Um, they are. Well, well that's where Boeing Boeing's dragging down the diamonds. Oh, Boeing's doing it. Yeah, yeah Boeing's it's, dragging down the diamonds. But again, um, that's another reason why looking at these things, I'm like, interesting. But I think I got everything today. And really, Netflix just... You did. You nailed it. Yeah. I'm and that Tesla, it. you know, that's always a crapshoot. You can jump into Tesla when it's up $50. It can run up $100 and then run down 150 I mean, sometimes it's crazy that, you know, with Tesla, it is. It's like, I understand why you don't call it a lot. It's a nutty stock. I think we did that a lot in the last two weeks, and I think we got enough out of it, and I think you just leave it, kind of, and that's, yeah. you know, what's you know, going on with that. But, but, but Netflix was the winner, and I'm really glad you held it, and this is a great sign for the fall. So, I mean, I think you did fantastic today with the money that you made, and then also managing your risk and your exits better. And so going into the fall, I mean, it's up to you. If you want to bump it up to 2,500, you don't have to decide right now until, I'd say, mid, mid to late September till the next earnings season starts in October. But... I would um, see how we do in the next in the next couple of weeks, but I definitely think you're getting your mojo back going here now, and to have a you know we'll see where you are tomorrow. If it was, I think you said you're over twenty thousand for the day. Yeah, it was it was eighteen to twenty. I think I ended up eight in the eighteen range actually, the high eighteens. Yeah. So yeah, it was great though. Thank you. Okay, good luck. I'll see you. So you're only in the puts then to see what happens with those tomorrow. That's right.